is writing time. And today, writers, I want you to take a look at Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See With Me by Eric Carle. I want you to notice something in his book. I want you to notice his sentences he's using. Because I've been looking at a lot of books and noticing how the authors are writing their stories. And one thing that I notice is they're mostly using lowercase letters. And there are only some uppercase or capital letters at the start of their sentences. So friends, you need to be doing this in your writing as well. And I wanted to show you again the apple picking story that my friend wrote. Just the first page. And notice hers. She wrote in all uppercase letters. But what she needed to do is use a capital at the beginning and then use lowercase letters throughout the rest of uh, the sentence on this page. So as you're writing, please be aware that authors use capital letters at the beginning of their sentences, uppercase letters, but throughout that sentence, they're using lowercase letters. And remember, friends, that we will be sharing our writing. And when you are writing, you need to keep that in mind. And you need to keep asking yourself, is my writing easy to read? Will others be able to read my story? And I have a chart that'll help you out with that. Because as you're writing, you need to remember to leave spaces between your words. You need to make sure that the pictures help with those words so we understand the story better. You need to make sure that you write a letter for each sound you hear in your words. And you need to make sure that you use capital letters at the start of every sentence, but then we use lowercase letters to finish out that sentence. And then friends, we always put a period at the end of the sentence. And we talked about, um, we use periods at the end of sentences that we're telling people things. And we've also talked a little about how if we're showing more emotion, we can use an exclamation mark. Or if we are asking, it's an asking sentence and we're asking something, we can end our sentence with a question mark. So your job today is just to make sure that your writing is easy to read for all the friends that you will be sharing your story with. And if you're able to, I would really love for you to bring any of your writing that you have been doing these past two virtual weeks in with you to share with um, your teachers and your friends in your classroom. I wish all of my friends at home well. Goodbye.